West Fargo Cheyenne celebrating its brand new field turf tonight with their home opener against Minot. The Mustangs 1 and 0 on the season thinking they've got a shot at a title this year, trailing 7-0 in the second with under two minutes to play, and the Mustangs running a pretty efficient two-minute drill. Second and two from the 39, Grant Warkenthein sends it downfield, and Barika Pinu is up. It bounces off him or the Minot defender, but either way, he keeps an eye on it and gets his hands on it. From the 15, Warkenthein rolls out, hitting Tony Hang at the six, and the Stangs will finish off the drive with 33 seconds left in the half. Warkenthein fakes the handoff and walks it in himself. Plenty more fight in this one, but it's Cheyenne on top in the end, 28 to 14. And Williston tops Grand Forks Central, 33 to 8. Out west, Davies looking for its first win, still playing out in Mandan. Start of the first quarter, Braves ball and quarterback Dane Carlson throws one, but is intercepted by Eli Mock of the Eagles. He barrels his way back through and down to the 10 yard line. Eagles are knocking on the door. Davies ball and quarterback Reed Hartness on the keeper. He runs that in for the first touchdown of the game. Davies gets that win by 10 and Red River earning the 44-35 win over the Demons tonight. Over to Bismarck Century hosting West Fargo. Patriots with a 3-0 lead in the second quarter. Cade Feeney under a lot of pressure tonight, and that's the case here. Avoids the rush and heaves it downfield to Skylar Redinger, who bobbles it. Play is called a catch and a fumble. Packers recover. The Patriots would force a turnover on the next drive, though. Nicholas Kroom rushes off the edge, hits the quarterback as he's about to throw. The ball is out. And Connor Storlin pounces on it. That sets up Century with great field position. Feeney under center and punches it in with the QB sneak. 10-0 at the half. Century logs the shutout 31-0. And Shanley picks up its first 3A win with the 44-27 final over Jamestown. Back here in Fargo, the Spartans hosting Dickinson at the Fargo Dome. 6-5 midgets at half and or six nothing midgets at half and they've got the ball to start the third second and two from the 48 Troy Berg gets the handoff and the sophomore rolls away from the pile and takes it to the edge he's off to the races for a sprint hill win good for a 52 yard touchdown and a 12 nothing lead after a failed two point conversion and that'll do it from the dome 12 nothing the final and at Fargo South the Bruins earning the 39 21 win over Bismarck legacy the Bruins improving to two and oh in 2A action, Valley City taking on St. Mary's in Bismarck, picking it up in the first Saints on the move. And Drew Dosh hits the swing pass to Jackson Wiseman, and the senior does the rest. Off the screen, taking it in for six, and the Saints lead 7-0 after the PAT. After a turnover by the Highliners, the Saints go back to work as Dosh this time will show off that arm a little bit more. He lets it fly, and Wiseman is wide open as he goes in untouched into the end zone. It's 14-0 Saints. They'll go on to win it 41-10, and out west, Beulah gets the 30-point win over Devils Lake. In single A, North Dakota ball, Thompson is continuing in their winning ways at the next level 34 9 over Ellendale Edgeley Colm and Oaks is a winner with the 43 14 final number one ranked Langdon Edmore Munich beats Park River 65 to 6 while Grafton grinds out the 6 nothing win over Carrington and in nine man football Griggs County falls to Lamore Litchville Marion 50 to 26 while Mayport CG defeats Hankinson 54 36 and from region two ball New Rockford Cheyenne picks up the 42-18 win and Cavalier improves to 3-0 on the season with the 44-14 win tonight. Yes, I can understand.